Hi there, welcome to Become a Surface Pro. Today's Surface Pro tip is getting rid of the keyboard. In my training sessions, I find if people have a Surface Pro, they're usually not aware that if you take the Surface Pro keyboard and fold it around past halfway, that the trackpad and the keys all turn off. Now that's really good for using the Surface with the pen because what it means is that you can fold the keyboard underneath like this and you can continue to use the device without worrying about activating the keys and the trackpad there. Some people have told me though that they prefer to remove the Surface Pro keyboard and actually mount it on backwards so that they have a flat surface on the back as well. So when you want to take some notes or maybe do a sketch, what I recommend you do is fold the keyboard underneath. The beauty of that is that it brings the device much closer to you and it also means that you don't need to hover your arm above the surface while you're working on it. When you put the pen near the screen, touch generally turns off. So you don't have to worry about leaning your hand on the screen. You can actually work quite naturally on the surface without the keyboard there with the device right up close to you. If you have a Surface Book, remove the keyboard by pressing on this button here for about one second. That releases the screen and allows you to remove that from the base of the surface. You can then either take that device away and use that to take notes or do your sketch. Or if you want, you can actually mount the Surface Book screen backwards back onto the keyboard base and you can continue to use that in tablet mode without the keyboard in your way. Hopefully you'll find that tip helps you out a bit ergonomically and makes the surface a lot nicer to use when you're in tablet mode. If you found this tip helpful, remember to give us the thumbs up and also remember to subscribe to our videos for more Surface Pro tips.